In the meantime, guys, I would like to tell you that we have regular updates on various programming languages and technologies on our channel. So if you are a tech geek and love watching tech videos, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest technologies and also hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So I see a few more people have joined the session. I think we are good to go now. So let's get started. Now, as you all know, while working with vast databases in SQL, several tables and data fields will require unique numbers. Now, for instance, a column of the table with a primary key or a unique constraint will always require a new number. That means in that field, you always need to enter a new number and it's not have any duplicate values. So you might be able to do it manually to a limited extent, but when it comes to enormous or large or huge databases, you might forget the last unique number you have entered or merely included the same number twice as it isn't easy to remember everything, right? Besides it providing a unique number to all the records is also a tedious task. And that's where auto increment in SQL comes to play. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss what exactly is auto increment in SQL and how to use it. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let us now jump head into MySQL workbench for execution part. So as you can see, MySQL workbench has started. Uh, let me just enter the password to enter into it. All right, we have logged in into our MySQL workbench. So before getting into the execution part, let us just quickly understand what is auto increment. Now the auto increment in SQL is basically a feature that is applied to a field so that it can automatically generate and provide a unique value to every record that you enter in an SQL table. Now this field is often used as the primary key column where you need to provide a unique value for every record you add. However, it can also be used for unique constraint columns as well. So let us now understand this with an example here. So let me just create a new table uh, so that we can implement it. So let us create a new table here, which is let's say orders. Open the parenthesis and let us now uh, mention the columns that you want to create. So let us take uh, the first column as product ID and product ID will be of int and we'll make sure that it is not null. And then in a, if you're working on SQL, uh, you are, it applies an auto increment field with the keyword as auto increment. So we'll write it as auto increment. And then comma, mention the next attribute, let's say, let us take as customer ID in our orders table. And I'm again giving int as the data type for this. And again, we cannot have customer ID as null. So I'm mentioning the constraint not null. Next, I'm mentioning the product name. That is the list of uh, orders that the uh, a customer has placed and the name of that product. And here I'm taking uh, the data type as varchar and I'm taking it size of up to 20. Next, uh, let us take, let's say quantity. And let us then take it as in data type. And next, and finally we'll take price which would be again of varchar of 20 size. So that's it. Uh, mention the comma and let us close it. So let us just execute this statement. Uh, there is an error. I don't know guys why it is showing as error. Uh, let me just check it once. So 
So I think there is an error. So let us just uh, create a table using this icon here. So orders new. And let us mention the column names here, which is customer ID. Sorry, first one will be product ID. We have customer ID and then we have product name and then quantity. And finally, we'll take the price here. All right. So let us give uh, the product ID as the auto increment. We can so click on this auto increment uh, value where you can find it as AI. And let us now execute, click on apply and our table will be created. So as you can see, our table has now created. Uh, so let us now just insert some values into it and we'll see the output. So mention the insert into, mention the table name that is orders. Now, in order to uh, insert the values into it, you know, you need not in, uh, write the product ID uh, column here. So we'll just directly write the customer ID and we'll see how the auto increment directly works. So customer ID, next we have uh, product name. Next we have quantity. Next we have price. And mention values and insert some values. So customer ID, I'll just take it as 101. Next product name, let us take as AC. For quantity, let's say 2. And price will be 60,000. All right, and similarly, let us insert another value here. I'm taking the next order customer ID as 102, and we'll take the uh, next product as cooker and close in my single brackets. Next, we'll take quantity one, and price will be 45,000, 25,000. Sorry, and finally, let us take another example. Uh, let's say 102, 103, comma, let's say phone as our next product name and we will take uh, the quantity as 3 and the price will be 90,000. Alright, we are good to go now. Let us execute the statement and we'll see the output. Sorry, orders, new right. So as you can see, three rows have been uh, inserted. So let me just display the values from it. So, so as you can see, uh, in the product ID column where we haven't mentioned it in our insert statement, and it is automatically generating the values like sequential starting from one, two, and three. Now you can also make an auto increment in SQL uh, to start from another value with the following syntax using the alter table as well guys. Now let's say if you're working on an employee table or let's say if you are working on any other student table for example in that uh, it might be of different uh, digits like the employee ID can be of five digits or six digits. So in that case you have to change the order in which you want to create and increase the employee IDs, right? So in that case, what we'll do is, we'll write alter table and then mention the table name. So we are taking orders new table here and mention the auto increment keyword and set from where you want to start it. So let's say if I want to start it from uh, uh, 12,001, right? So let us just execute and we'll see the output. So our query has been executed. So let us now uh, insert some more values into our table and we'll see how it goes. So let me just, uh, 
Now I'll add some more values like uh, 107, comma, the product name as cooker, let's say the quantity 2 and the price will be uh, 50,000. Similarly, let us take another record, let's say 109, comma, let us take as tablet as our product name and then we'll mention the number of quantity as 4 and price will be 1,50,000. Alright, so let's just execute the statement and we'll see the output. So uh, two rows have been inserted into a table successfully. So let us just uh, call the uh, orders new table again. So let me just use the select statement, select star from orders, orders new. So as you can see, the now the two records that we have inserted, which is of customer at ID 107 and 109 and the orders they have placed as cooker and tablet. Now if you look at the product ID, we have started uh, their product ID from 12001 and sequentially it will uh, increase the value by 1. That is now we have 12001 and next we have the 12002. So in this way you can use the auto increment in SQL to set up uh, values in order to make them uh, automatically update for your for your database. Now, instead of writing every time, you can just simply mention the auto increment and it will do the job. And if you're working on various other databases like uh, SQL Server or even Oracle, in that case, the syntax will change. In that case, what you have to do is, in the create statement, you have to take uh, the keyword as identity and mention the uh, values from which your uh, column name, uh, column values will start, let's say I'm taking as 100, comma, and how much values you want to increment, like let's say if I mention one, it will increase the value by one, like 100, 101, 102, and so on. But if I take it as, let's say five, then it will start from 100, next the value will be 105, 110, and so on. So in this way, if you're working on various other databases, you can use this as well. So that brings us to the end of today's session guys. Uh, I hope you understood how to use the auto increment in SQL. So now that you have learned everything about auto increment in SQL and you have gone through the use of auto increment in SQL uh, and to set up in different DBMS servers. So I hope you can uh, execute in your systems as well. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave us a like and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any further queries any on regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.